Hello everyone, this is a quick um, tip on the bend modifier, the symbol deform modifier which has a bend subsection. I used the, the modifier for my modeling exercise number 7, but I don't think it was clear enough. So we'll, I'm going to use a simple example to demonstrate how and when to use it. So here it goes. Nope. Let's reset the scene, create a plane right here, and the edit mode inset it and extrude. That's enough for the moment. Smooth this out, give it a fair subdivision and create an array of those things. Twenty might be good. Let's move the modifier, the array modifier up before the subdivision modifier. And now you can see that we have an obje object that stretches on the I think it's the Y local axis, but the global axis. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's that one. So, you can see that the object's z-axis coincides with the world z-axis. We have the x-axis pointing at this direction and the y-axis pointing at this direction. See what happens if we apply the, the deform modifier, the simple deform modifier. We move it before the subdivision. Okay, we want to give it a bend of 360 degrees. And it goes wild. Let's try a smaller value so that you can see it better. Well, okay, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, it's trying to, to spread itself, to bend itself on the z-axis. If you look at the Wikipedia page for the modifier <coughs> that's what it says, that the modifier works on the z-axis. So, z-axis points upwards and this is the z-axis so the object is trying to revolve around this axis so it's trying to spread all across the xy plane to satisfy the needs of the modifier we want to change that, we want uh, uh, a ring so we're going to use a helper object again but not just everywhere on the edge that we want the loop, the ring to repeat itself to, to for the end of the object to meet the start of the object and this is this very edge so we move the cursor to the selected edge, we exit edit mode and we create a helper object in the form of arrows so that we, see, we can see where it's heading and you can see that this object, the helper object's coordinates, local coordinates coincide with the, the, the array's local coordinates which at the moment are both the local and the global coordinates so <coughs> we're going to manipulate this empty object its rotation, not the position, we don't care about the position, it's set right here to use, to, to give us the desired effect let's change the angle to what we finally want and it's this ugly thing so, what do we want the modifier to do? we want not the z-axis, we want the modifier to point at this direction the x-axis so we have to flip downwards and we want the ring to go around something like this I hope it's clear enough it will become in a moment well it's as simple as that we have declared what we're going to use and 
let's flip it. Ninety degrees on the local axis. So now the direction is correct, the z axis is pointing where we want it. We just have to manipulate these two because the x axis must follow the ring. Look, take a look at what I mean. So we're gonna bend that over there. 90 degrees is just about right. And that's that's pretty much it. That's what we wanted. We apply the array, we apply the deform modifier, we select everything, remove doubles, and that's it. Now you have this without having the need to rotate the objects coordinates the object center or, uh, or the, the, the orientation of the vertices in edit mode. Nothing. You do everything with the helper object, with the empty object, which is now redundant. Thanks very much for watching.